Hey guys, it's Melanie. Welcome back. Happy Monday. Hope you had a great weekend. Um, Alf and I, he is in my lap. I think you can see his little, this is his head here. We are here to share the home fragrance empties from the month of February. Uh, I'm obviously not using any like artificial lighting today. My eyes feel really sensitive for some reason. So um, I'm just using the window. I hope that's okay. Um, but let's go through my February home fragrance empties. I feel like this was a really slow month for me, but it was a good month for finish up, finishing up a bunch of candles and specifically getting through a number of Homeworks candles, which if you are not aware, I am using 2023 to really try to whittle down my Homeworks stash. Not because I don't love the brand anymore, I do, um, but I just have a lot. Um, purchasing from QVC for, um, a lot of years <laughs> we we all know that the candles or homeworks are usually pa um, packaged in sets of two for qvc or sometimes even sets of three and um i would then just buy in bulk if i really loved something so i have a lot of homeworks candles and in an effort to continually try to fight against this like natural hoarding tendency that i have um I'm just trying to whittle that collection down so it <laughs> doesn't overwhelm me. Um, so yeah, there's a number of Homeworks candles in here. There's also some new Bath & Body Works candles that I have now since finished um, that I can give you guys some updates on and um, let's get into it. There's also wax melts. I'm gonna try to be brief, um, not really talking in depth about the fragrances per se, only because I do have individual reviews of pretty much every candle that you're gonna see here. So you can search for those on my channel and it will pop up just an in-depth review of the fragrance that you're interested in. All right, let's go. Um, also, I will just put like general information on where to purchase any of these candles. Um, I'll just put links to the candle companies in the description box down below. Okay, first we have Bath & Body Works Radiant Sky. You guys, I burned this bad boy all the way down to the bottom and she did pretty well. I will say the last two burns did get a little messy. Um, but that being said, I feel like this was a great burn from a Bath & Body Works candle. Now I do have some backups of Radiant Sky. Um, I knew that I was going to enjoy this one. And even if it didn't work out super well for me, I could have just popped it underneath my candle lamp or in a candle crock and I would have still enjoyed this scent. I just recently reviewed this, so you should be able to find the review of this one very easily here on my channel. Loved it will absolutely get more. All right, so this is Indigo Paradise. I also just recently reviewed this. Now, this one, um, I love the scent. It's very similar to Capri Blue Volcano, and honestly, it burned quite well. I was able to burn it all the way down. So that being said, this was another one where like the last, I would say two or three burns got, like the wax got pretty discolored. You can kind of see it in there. Can you see that? That um, wax used to be a nice, like creamy white shade. It's kind of dingy now. There, I found that these particular wicks, which are like the thicker ones, I'm finding that those are the ones that seem to be dropping some carbon residue back into the wax. Luckily, it didn't change the fragrance at all, but it does, you know, make the wax look kind of dingy. Um, that being said, I'm still really pleased with actually being able to burn these candles completely down. They certainly didn't soot, which has been an issue for um, a lot of my Bath & Body Works candles in recent years. So I don't know, maybe they've turned a corner. We'll see. I did just recently purchase a bunch of new scents from Bath & Body Works and I did go back and exchange a few candles and then picked up some other new scents instead. Um, so. I, I'm hopeful, I have my fingers crossed. It would be great if Bath & Body Works could go back to like the glory days um, because I have a store like three miles from my house. <laughs> you know, like it's so easy to go buy Bath & Body Works candles. So anyway, um, I just thought I'd let you guys know that I'm pretty pleased with how those performed overall. All right, now here we have a couple of candles that were in the candle crock. Now, after these were done, I did end up pouring out the wax because I want to reuse these jars for a specific purpose and it was just easier to pour the wax out while it was still liquefied 
versus putting it in the freezer and then doing it that way. So I still have to clean these out. So I will do that and I need to take the labels off. But um, here we have Fruit and Flakes and Marshmallow Morning from Kringle. I actually burned these to the halfway point and then ended up putting them in my Crocs. If you are new here and you don't know what a candle crock or a candle lamp is, I will put links to videos explaining two of the, those two concepts in the description box down below, so make sure you check those out. I also put links for a candle crock that is super affordable, great quality, and then also a lamp. Um, so they're just really good accessories to have for candles that might be problematic, or if you don't like having an open flame, like you can totally use those um, for that as well, just, just to melt. You can melt all of your candles. You don't have to burn any of them technically. So um, anyway, I love both of these scents. These were released last spring from Kringle, and today they just dropped their new spring summer scents for 2023. I have orders in for both the country candle and the traditional candle jars as well. Um, I live in Oregon and Kringle is based out of Massachusetts. It takes me forever to get my packages from the East Coast. So um, I will be bringing it up the rear per usual um, in terms of first sniff impressions uh, someday when the candles arrive at my doorstep. <laughs> Who knows when that will be? We'll leave it up to FedEx, my favorite people on the planet. All right. Here we have a homeworks. This is the blueberry cheesecake. Oh, you guys, I love blueberry cheesecake. I love her so much. This is an absolutely fantastic scent. Someone asked me to compare this to Scentsy's blueberry cheesecake. There is no comparison. Um, I'm probably gonna upset some people, but I think that Scentsy's blueberry cheesecake smells kind of sour. I don't love it. In fact, I put, I bought a brick of it in my, um, one of my Scentsy Club orders. Uh, it was my half price item. And I was like, okay, I finally need to try this because I think, I remember Lisa telling me that it was delicious. I think Sean actually really likes it if I remember correctly. Don't quote me on that. My memory is a little funky the last several months. Got a lot going on. But um, when I put that into all of my warmers, I just was like, <laughs> what does it smell like? sour cheese in my house. That's what it's, it smelled like sour cheese with a nice blueberry note, but I could not get past the cheese berry note in the Scentsy. This is a really nice cheesecake note that doesn't come off as sour at all. And the blueberries here are very, very authentic. I love this scent. I have multiples of it. I will continue to purchase it as long as Harry decides to have it as a part of the collection. Love, love it. Another scent that I really like that I know my friend Katie doesn't is the strawberry banana smoothie. I love, whoa buddy, you need a, oh you had to flip, okay. Well, whatever makes you happy. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> He's so sweet. Um, where was it going? Strawberry banana smoothie. Uh, I love this one. That's just, that's basically what I can say about it. it. It smells like the Jamba Juice drink that Stella always get every, t every time we go. They have a kid's like strawberry banana smoothie and um, I think that this smells extremely similar to a Jamba Juice drink. Um, so Stella also really likes this fragrance as well. I will say this one was sitting for quite some time in one of my candle closets. Um, it was released last year. So I've been storing this for a bit and I don't know what it is about the Homeworks candles. And, um, I, you know, I don't think that you should have to let your candles cure or sit. They should be ready to go by the time you get them. So no need to bring that up in the comments. I completely agree with that. But there is something about the Homeworks wax formula that does increase in strength and throw the longer they sit. Um, I wish that they would just come ready to go, but I don't know. I have tended to purchase a lot of candles in bulk in the past. And so for me, it's kind of easy to just, you know, let certain things sit. So it's easy for me to like test stuff like this. And I really do find a difference in the candles strength and throw from the f when I get them at my house, I burn them. And then if I wait several months later to burn like a second candle of that exact same scent, it's usually stronger. So I don't know. That being said, do I think that that should be the thing? No, but it just, it is. It's my experience. So 
Um, I have noticed with not all of the new spring candles from Homeworks, but a few of the ones that I have tested so far are just a touch stronger in terms of strength and throw. Is it a drastic difference? I don't think it's a drastic difference yet, but I have seen some improvement. That being said, I do have a couple of reviews coming up for you of some homework scents that are not going to be that great. So I should have those reviews up possibly tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Yeah, probably tomorrow. And um, yeah, th those aren't going to get like the best uh, in terms of strength and throw, but I don't know. It Homeworks, I think, is still in a time of some flux right now. And if you are at all hesitant uh, to order from them, I completely understand. And it might just be worth waiting until more reviews come out here on YouTube to be able to make an informed decision for yourself. So um, yeah, anyway, there are lots of people that review Homeworks candles, so you should be able to get kind of a nice sampling of some different experiences as more of these scents are being burned by other candle reviewers. All right, so, uh, Banana Daiquiri. This was one of the ones that actually performed quite well for me right out the door. Um, I don't normally love banana scents, but I have to show you guys this one. So most times with Homeworks, you will have some wax left at the bottom, right? Like you can see there, there's just a thin layer of wax. Look at this, look at this one. <laughs> There's like nothing left in the bottom. Sometimes you'll get a Homeworks candle that literally almost every ounce of wax like dissipates. Um, this was one of those ones. I am not huge on banana scents, but this is a really nice banana scent and it does have that boozy note. Don't typically love that. That being said, I think it's done well enough in here to make it quite enjoyable actually, not just even tolerable. It is quite enjoyable. So. Anyway, this one I can definitely give you like solid thumbs up. This is great performance. Is, is the sun gonna come out right now? Yes. Hi. <laughs> At least it's making it a little bit brighter. Okay, Sparkling Citrus. This was another one where, um, now this one was interesting because it just left like a small ring of wax around here, but everything in the middle kind of dissipated. Um, Sparkling Citrus was another one where I had a great experience with this one right out the gate. Um, the strength and throw of this is definitely better than the spring and summer releases from last year. Absolutely, hands down, for sure. Um, here I have a uh, poolside splash in this like three wick format that Homeworks keeps putting out. Um, I don't mind that they offer this. I think my fear with these particular three wicks, three wick candles, you can see it's just a smaller version of the four wick. My fear is that um, they might start doing less of the four wicks. This is not anything that's confirmed, by the way. This is just Melanie making things up in her head, but I'm just seeing a lot more of these being released, and I, I don't love this particular format as much. They don't look as nice on the Homeworks pedestals because they don't, you know, like fit the entire thing, and um, they go really fast. These, I just go through them faster. And while I love finishing my candles, I don't like feeling like <laughs> I light one up and then like three days later it's gone type of thing, right? So, I don't know. I do like the scent Poolside Splash. This one does have an individual review. So if you're interested in that, definitely check it out. Um, here we have a Kringle holiday scent in the Three Wick Soy formula. That was, this is tea time, right? Tea and cookies. Um, I just decided to pop this one into my candle crock randomly towards the beginning of February. I was trying to cycle through a lot of my like leftover holiday scents that were somewhat doable in the like late winter months. This one fit the bill, so I popped it in the crock. And this gave me like, it was almost like a week and a half of like solid, consistent, amazing scent. By the way, this particular fragrance to me smells somewhat similar to the Bath & Body Works Nutmeg and Spice. I don't think they're dupes of each other, but it's, it has a similar type of fragrance to it. So if you like that, um, check this out. It's, it's great. I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure some of these like holiday candles are still available on the website. So um, if you want to partake, 
check that out. Okay, so I have two Pringle candles here. Again, these are, I have already shown you these scents. So this is Marshmallow Morning and this is Fruit and Flakes again. Now these I opted to just put in the candle crocks from the get-go so you can see these wicks were never lit. Um, this is actually an, an excellent example here of why you should never relight a candle that you put into a candle crock. Um, you can see the wicks travel and what happens is the heat uh, loosens the glue that uh, is used to keep the wicks in place and those can then float around and you know once the wax hardens up the wicks will kind of in whatever location they're in um, just kind of stay there this if I lit this with these two wicks the way they are it would immediately probably shatter this glass like there needs to be a safe distance between the flame and the glass to not like have the glass crack which then leads to not only a fire hazard, but a huge freaking mess to deal with. So um, once you decide to sacrifice your candle to the croc gods, um, just let it live its life there. You can reuse this wax to make fire starters or anything else, like make your own patio candle with the leftover wax, whatever you wanna do, but do not reuse this as like, a candle in this format here so just worth keeping in mind so I also have it um, here as well so these two definitely gave me a solid week of performance in two of my crocs again um, I just I really love utilizing my candle crocs to get through a lot of my candles faster I do leave my crocs on by the way 24 7 I've never had an issue with that, but you can certainly turn them off every evening. Um, for me, it's just easier to leave them off. All right, we have Into the Night. Oh, I love this scent. This is a Bath & Body Works. This is my original one. I fell in love with this scent because this to me is so similar to the um, Dark Kiss fragrance. So good, you guys. Recently placed an order online, and I think I got either three or four more of these. So this is a good one. If you like the original Dark Kiss, you need to check that out. All right, Betty Mama's feet are falling asleep. So we gotta uncross the legs. <laughs> Bear with me. Here we go. Okay. Um, here we have a berry waffle cone um, from, what year was this? 2017. Do you guys remember these? Oh, look. You see? The, there's the wick clips. This one also went into the crock. Um, for the last little bit of its life here. Um, I love this scent and I I will stand by the fact that this is the very best version of Berry Waffle Cone that has ever been released. The other subsequent releases I think smelled like pretty much the same, but it was the performance of the newer ones that just was not that great to me. Something about this particular jar just made the candle burn perfectly, usually the whole way down. So love that one. And Berry Waffle Cone seems to come back somewhat regularly now. So I hope it comes back again this summer. It's delicious. Here we have a sea glass from um, Homeworks. This one, not much wax left in the bottom there either. This is a lot more fresh than what I normally gravitate towards, but this was something that I received in PR. Also, this one came in PR as well. I don't think that I would have purchased either one of these. And then there's also one more in here, I think. Yeah, here it is. This is Sunset Waves. Now, Sunset Waves is another um, version of the Capri Blue Volcano scent. This one is, I think it's pretty accurate to Volcano. Um, this one burned quite well for me and I did really like the label of it. This one I could see myself repurchasing. The other two, three wicks that I showed you, I'm not sure that I would, but this one, um, this one I think I would, but I just, I wanna see it in the four wick. I don't know. Just seeing a lot of those three wicks. All right, here we have another uh, Kringle candle. This is Sicilian orange. This one I burned to just past the halfway point and then decided to crock her at the end. Um, so that, I love that scent, by the way. Now this is an orange and herbal combination. If you don't like that herbal or slightly green touch um, in your orange fragrances, I would avoid that one because you're probably not gonna enjoy it. But I really like that a lot. I think that is amazing. If you like the Sicilian Tangerine from Nest, 
I think this would also be very enjoyable for you. So just another option. All right. Okay, so unfortunately, this particular Homeworks candle, which was a um, fundraiser for Next for Autism, which is actually a organization that was founded by Harry and Laura Slatkin. Um, this is the chocolate chip banana pancakes. Love the artwork. This was done by uh, an individual who has autism. I just think it's really creative and sweet. Um, and I really like the scent a lot, but the strength and throw was not great. I actually had thought about just like putting it away for several months, but I had already burned it. And I was like, I just kind of want to finish it and get through with it. I might actually consider purchasing another one of these the next time that I place an order just to like put into the back of a closet and test it again, maybe even a year from now and see if it's any better. But I just, I really like the scent a lot, but my problem was that the strength and throw was so low that I could almost like barely smell it. So, and as we are all aware, if we've watched my videos for any amount of time, I really like a lot of strength and throw. All right, are those all the candles? No, please, please, there are more. Holy cannoli. All right, here we have an Amalfi Coast. This is a very fresh lemon scent. I don't love this scent. I think it's okay. Um, I prefer my lemon scents to smell either like a candied lemon or like a lemon custard, um, lemon cake, you know, like very gourmandy lemon, not, not so much fresh lemon. I want my house to smell like a lemon cleaning product. <laughs> And that lends itself to that. And I think that's actually all of the candles except for this guy. This is my very first Candleberry candle. <laughs> I went from this to the cookie jar. I have not tried the large jars. I don't know why I decided to make that leap, but I did. I love vanilla crumb cake. This is a fantastic scent and my cookie jar is still burning like a champ. I am now past the halfway point. So um, I plan on filming my review of the cookie jar um, probably, uh, I will have that up next week at some point, but suffice it to say that thing is amazing. I love it. And I will buy another one. If I can find a scent that really floats my boat. Um, I will say buying a cookie jar in a particular scent, you do kind of get like scent fatigue after a while. So I want, but I want to burn the whole thing down. So I'm just going to keep going with it. I'm going to burn it all the way down and I am like counting the hours and you know, cause the hour range is insane with this <laughs> candle. Um, it's between 400 and 800 hours. That's a huge range. Even if it only falls in the 400 hour mark, then I'm good with that. But anyway, all right, we have a lot of wax melts you guys and I'm already 23 minutes in. So we are doing power hour. Um, lots of Scentsy in here, and a lot of these are from the most recent Bring Back My Bar. I'm just gonna tell you whether I love the scents or not. I'm not really gonna go in depth. Okay, so we have Crumb Top. Here I have two. I'm sure there's another one in here. I love Crumb Top. It's in my club. Clearly, I fell in love with her. Here we have Happy Birthday. You guys, Happy Birthday is coming back. Thank you so much for voting it back. I mean, I owe a thank you to myself as well because I voted like it was going out of style for happy birthday to come back. I don't need it to come back really because I have it in my club, but that being said, I'm always talking about it and so many of you are like, oh, I wanna try it so bad. <laughs> it's coming back. So the Bring Back My Bar that will be coming out in, is it June or July? I think it comes out in June. Don't quote me on that. I am not a Sensi consultant. I buy it all from my bestie Lisa. Um, anyway, fun Freddy birthday cake. If you're in the market this summer, just put it in your club. You're not going to regret it. I don't. Hazelnut latte, also in my club. There should be several hazelnut lattes in here as well. Now, pink coconut. This is a scent of the month. So good. This is like a very candied scent, but I also get just the tiniest hint of like, almost like a laundry type note in here. More so when I'm warming it, but I like it a lot. It might be club worthy. Here's Flirtatious. This was part of Bring Back My Bar. Mm, nah, not really my thing. Melon and Apple Granita, delicious. 
absolutely amazing. Here's another pink coconut. Um, did not put that in my club, by the way, the um, melon and apple granita. I don't know, it's not club worthy to me, but I do really enjoy it. White, amber, and silk. This is nice, more of like a cashmere type scent. Another hazelnut latte. Um, Graham Cracker Crunch. I believe this is going away with the uh, fall winter catalog. If you want it, I'd probably say put it in your club. Here we have cucumber lime from Bring Back My Bar. I actually enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I would. Um, I don't normally love lime scents, but this is, this is quite nice. Another hazelnut latte, another melon and apple granita. Perk Me Up, this is a fantastic coffee scent. So good. Not acidic or like overly bitter at all. Super enjoyable. I love mixing that with the hazelnut latte. So good. Um, red, white, and berry pie. This was a scent of the month last, last year. I don't even know, remember when I got this. <laughs> hazelnut latte. Uh, pear blossom and cucumber. Another bring back my bar from this last go around. Really nice. Super pleasant, very springy, fresh, clean melon and apple granita. But that one's not club worthy. Um, almond croissant in my club. Love it. If this ever comes back, just so good. Another happy birthday. Coconut palm. I really did enjoy coconut palm. Again, it wasn't club worthy for me, but I did buy a couple extras for this summer. Green tea smoothie. Lisa hated this. I think she said it smelled like vomit. And I really liked it. <laughs> Normally Lisa and I agree on like, I would say 99.8% of the Scentsy fragrances, but every once in a while we differ and we really differ on this one because I really enjoy this. It's nice. How long have I been talking? So long. Oh my gosh. Okay, flower shop, super green. Not for me. Cinnamon buttercream, um, delicious. Basic, hazelnut latte. Almond croissant. Got another pink coconut. Perfect day. I don't even remember which haul I popped this in. I don't remember. I think it's nice. Pear to me, Sometimes come, comes off as like a stinky feet kind of smell. This one smells a little bit like, I think I called it like children's stinky feet. If you have children, that's a very distinct smell that you're probably familiar with. Um, and it just, yeah, like it just reminds me of stinky kid feet. Like when Stella was little, that's what it smells like to me. <laughs> Grand Parker Crunch. Okay, we have um, a few things in here from Candleberry. We have Praline Dreams and we have Pumpkin Praline Waffles. Pumpkin Praline Waffles, love it. And this might actually be my cookie jar for the fall. We'll see. This is very similar to Pumpkin Pecan Waffles from uh, Bath and Body Works. Really nice, delicious. Praline Dreams, did not care for this. Uh, Brazilian vanilla from uh, Swan Creek Candle Company. Nice. Nah, I don't even know if the scent is still available. I bought this a couple years ago. I think it's nice. And then I also finished a Kay's uh, custom loaf. This was birthday cake, pink sugar cookie, and sugar cookie confection. Delicious. Loved it. And I'm done. That's it. Except for this. What a, this is not pink sunshine because that's what's currently down there. This is... Starburst Sky. Do you guys use these pods? I only have one of like these like warmers um, that the little pods go in. This one was nice. Very fruity, very fun. But yeah, um, I, I think I prefer the regular Scentsy warmers myself. But anyway, all right, that's it. Have a great rest of your day. If you're interested in the beauty empties, those will be up probably Wednesday. I think I want to upload the candle reviews tomorrow for those homework scents. So um, that will be coming your way. All right, have a great rest of your day and, sorry, he's just scooching out of the way and um, I'm gonna sign off. See ya.